Hi, this is Mike from Simple Crew, and I'm going to show you how to use Google My Maps to create a route for your field marketing team so that they know where to place their signs, put up flyers and posters, knock on doors, anything that you want them to do in the field. And then I'm going to show you how to share this in Simple Crew so that your team can access it right from the mobile app as they're working so that they're able to very easily see where you want them to do the work. And then we're going to export the data from Simple Crew so that you can see did they actually go to the spots that you wanted to go to that you set in the route so that you're able to then evaluate your team and as a bonus we'll show you how to compare that to any sales data that you might have related to this campaign. So first what you want to do is go to Google My Maps. Um, it's google.com slash maps but if you were to just search Google My Maps it very quickly is easily seen there and we're going to create a new map and I'm going to call this one uh, marketing route you can leave a description if you'd like and I'm going to show you a couple different ways in which you can add locations to this route that you're making and the first way is let's say that you want to add locations to uh, of all of the restaurants in your area. So, uh, I'm sorry, to all of grocery stores. I'm gonna just look, where are we? Grocery store, West Seattle, by me. And this is really nifty. It brings up all of the grocery stores nearby. I can zoom in a little bit so that zoom in so I can actually see the pins. But what you can do is just very easily go through this list. If you know the locations in your area, I'm just going to go ahead and click this plus sign. And now I'm adding all of these locations. You can see them showing up to my layer here on the map. And I'm going to call this grocery stores and then let's say you have a, uh, a spreadsheet with addresses already filled out because you maybe this is something that you've given your team before uh, I've made a Google Drive spreadsheet file here that has uh, a list of restaurants and the addresses that go with them and I'm going to now import that as a, a second layer restaurants let me stay organized hit import and now we go to Google Drive and I have this file already made it says choose column to select choose columns to position your place marks we're going to click the addresses column and then uh, to title them we're going to call it restaurants so that you can see it as they get imported Okay, and just like that, we have uh, a list of restaurants that have been added to our route. Now, after you've created your route, you're going to want to share this with your team. So we click the share button, and this is important here. We want to make sure that it's unrestricted. So change, we're going to change that and make sure that we have anyone with the link and as a viewer so that they can't uh, update it. So I'm going to copy this link hit done and now we're going to go over to simple crew and this is where you add it to the instructions so that your team members will now see this when they log into the mobile app and click into that campaign so I'm going to just create a new campaign quickly call it uh, weekend flyer route and you can assign some team members very quickly just scrolling through click on them every one of these team members will now have access to this campaign within the mobile app and for the instructions, going to say, check route here. And you can say anything you want in these instructions. And then I'm going to paste that link that I just copied from Google Maps. And there you go. We now have a new campaign created, assigned team members. And now when they go into the mobile app, 
they are going to see this as I pull up my mobile app here. So we just created a new campaign, so I'm going to pull down Refresh to find that one. And we see down here, Weekend Flyer Route. And right in the description, it says, check this route here, and that link is even clickable. So your team is going to be able to easily find this, easily click into it, and now they can see all the pins in Google Maps where they need to go. And you can even look at, a, at the map legend, and it's going to show you the list of all the grocery stores, all the restaurants, and um, it's going to make it really, uh, really coordinated for your team in order to find where they need to go. Um, and so with Google My Maps, you can't, it's not so easy, you can't make a, a route so that it's, um, you know, they go stop one, stop two, stop three, but just by looking at the map, it's going to be pretty easy for your team members to decide where to go to first. So uh, say they want to go to the nearest pin, you just zoom in, click on the pin, and you can get directions to that very easily. Uh, and then they would just go through and as each one, you can, you can add another stop. So they can create their own route as they go. I believe that it's limited to about 10, uh, but it would be you know, creating your own route. So uh, then they can just go ahead and hit start. And that's how they can go on their way and uh, efficiently go through and put up flyers or place signs or whatever it is um, that you're having them doing. Uh, through the route that you've just created for them. And after they've gone through and they've taken photos, you know, they'll just go back to Simple Crew, take photos while they, while they work. And this is just in my apartment. And they can leave comments, you know, say this was Habit Burger done and now all of your all of the work that was done is going to be tracked and you'll be able to export this data from simple crew and then compare it to the map that you just created so we're going to go ahead and click into another campaign that has more data this keep it moving Seattle campaign I'm going to click export CSV. You can see it's downloading down here. Open this in my finder. And now I'm going to go back to this marketing route and add one more layer. And we'll call this simple crude data. We'll select the file from my computer because I just downloaded it. And for me, it automatically selected latitude and longitude, but you may have to do this if it doesn't automatically select it, but it should. And then you can just pick uh, maybe the caption for the title. And now we've just imported our simple crew data but we're going to want to do uh, something which is pretty cool that is changing the color. So now we can see here's where all the marketing material was placed and here are the location. So in this example, well, they're not next to each other. So you'd probably have to tell your team uh, to do better next time, but in, uh, in hopefully in reality, you're going to see uh, for every blue pin, you'll see a red pin next to it. And this is how you can compare uh, your route to your actual um, marketing data. And then if you have, if you are then generating sales, you can go ahead and add another layer and import that. Let's say let's say it's the same as this sample addresses, except we call this you know, sales data. 
and you can go ahead and import that sales data with the addresses where your sales came from on the same map so you'll also be able to see the effectiveness of your marketing campaign which is pretty cool um, so I hope this is this is pretty much it and I hope that it's uh, it's been helpful and uh, I wish you luck okay have a good one